mom told baby has a defect, months later doctors find out the truth. His expression was the kind no parent would ever want to see on a doctor's face. The fact that he wasn't showing her the images made it so much worse. When he finally opened his mouth and started the sentence with, I'm sorry she knew something terrible was coming. For Michelle Wall and her husband, Rob, the desire to add another child to their family was strong. However, being in her mid-40s made things riskier than when she had given birth to her two daughters. But the wish to hold another baby in her arms won out. The first couple of months went as expected, morning sickness and excitement mixed with a bit of worry. There were the standard tests as well. Every time she left the office with good news, she and Rob let out sighs of relief. It wasn't until the third month did they see a change. The doctor tilted and slid the ultrasound transducer along her swelling belly longer than in the other appointments. With each new screenshot, his face tensed, as if trying to hide a frown. By the end of the hour, she was begging to know what was wrong. She squeezed her husband's hand as tight as she could, fearing the worst. The doctor pointed out several abnormalities, and she realized her biggest nightmare wasn't anything close to the reality before her. After a string of extra tests, the final, unsettling results came back. It wasn't a single diagnosis. Their unborn son wasn't even out of her womb and already suffered from several health problems. Among them were spina bifida, rare chromosome abnormalities, and hydrocephalus. His brain growth also rested at a mere 2%. Things were bad enough that the doctor offered a painful choice. They could decide on termination, or buy a small coffin, because there was no way he was going to make that long past birth, if at all. Michelle cradled her belly and let the tears fall hard. Was this her fault? Was this a punishment for trying so late in life? What was she going to do? After what felt like forever staring at the scuffed linoleum floor, she said, he's my boy, even if it's only for a little. I'm going to give him a chance. The rest of the pregnancy wasn't the glowing experience they had hoped for. As the nine-month marker rolled around and she was wheeled into the emergency room, they prepared for the worst. At 5.43 a.m., Noah came into the world. It was a good sign that he was crying. But seeing how deformed his head was, made her weep as hard as her newborn. Just like in the scans, the poor boy only had a tiny fraction of brain development. Many months later, and after several emergency treatments, did the notice something else. Their son had already defied the odds by living so long. However, despite having such limited brain function, he acted more and more like a normal infant, even giggling when he recognized them. When they visited the doctor for their next appointment, they couldn't believe their eyes. Noah's brain was growing. Yes, for everyone, the mind develops well after birth. But going from 2% to 50% outside the womb was utterly miraculous. And even though the doctors were stunned, Michelle's husband had his own explanation. I guess it's like memory foam. Noah's brain had been compressed by swelling, but once freed of it, the cells decided to play catch up and expand back to where they should have been. Accurate or not, they didn't care. They also didn't expect more changes. Their son's turnaround was already the talk of the town in medical circles. However, it had also exploded across social media. The world watched as the boy that never stood a chance grew back 80% of his brain, walked in special leg braces, and held conversations like anyone his age. There were also plenty of interviews. Reporters and talk show hosts shook their heads and smiled in disbelief as Noah answered all their questions, as well as throwing in some jokes and being cheeky here and there. Michelle held him close and looked on him with pride. There was one thing she was certain of. Her boy might still have many health problems. He might need aid for years or all his life. But he was their little miracle. He had defied the odds and fought to stay with them. Maybe in some way, he knew how much they loved him and wanted him in their lives. And now, their family was finally complete.